everybody, it's Dr. Todd here. I, I know this is a little odd. It's late at night. I'm in my apartment in Houston and uh, video quality probably not that great, but I just read a comment by one of the viewers, uh, single mom, and it just I just decided I wanted to make a little video for her and for any other single parents, I hope this is helpful. But her comment to one of my videos was, do you have any videos for single parents? I struggle because there's nobody to reinforce anything that I'm saying. And so first off, Thank you for reaching out. And I just think single parents, um, you have my amazement. Um, I've never been a single parent. I've always had the support of another, of my partner and my wife. And um, parenting is still hard. And so I think being a single parent must be really overwhelming. But you're not alone. And so I think I have some ideas that I'll, I'll share with you right now that I hope will make things a little bit easier for you. Um, so, First, my first idea is to remember the power of having consistent routines for predictability. I, I want you to think about that. I know routines are hard, especially when you're a single parent or any parent because we're all so busy. But kids thrive on routines. It gives them a sense of safety. And so even if it's bedtime, meals, schoolwork, when you set that up in a rhythm, kids know what to expect. You don't have to keep repeating yourself. It doesn't always have to be a battle. So it helps you kind of go into autopilot. And it's really not about being rigid. It's about creating a flow that makes things natural and it reduces the pushback that you'll get otherwise. Number two, set up some kind of community support system. This is the biggie. You don't have to do it by yourself. You can reach out, build your own parenting village. Even if it's just some close friends, some other single parents, any family members, really anybody that has your back, that really has your best interest in mind. When you have other people that have your same values, even if they're not living with you, it, that'll help reinforce the boundaries that you set at home. You can even arrange play dates with families who have similar values and similar expectations. And then when your kid hears similar rules from others, it sort of reinforces that it's not just my mom is being mean, right? Uh, another idea that really helps, especially for little kids, and I think this is a single mom who has a younger kid, is to set up visual cues for reinforcement. It's really effective because uh, visual reminders are effective. So that could be like a chore chart, it could be a behavior tracker, a family calendar, but it's where your child can see what's expected without you needing to remind them constantly. It works as a silent but steady reinforcement. It keeps things neutral. So it's not just you versus them all the time. Now, I'm talking about can, I'm talking about routine. I'm talking about structure. And that's super important and also can be really hard. Equally important, the flip side of the coin of structure is connection. So find little pockets of connection time. There's an Okinawan proverb that I like. I won't try pronouncing it in that language, but the proverb is the heart is the most essential human quality. I love that. Parenting fundamentally is a heart-to-heart -heart endeavor. And as a single parent, you've got a lot on your plate, but when you can prioritize even just small quality connection moments, it can be a few minutes here, a few minutes there, where you're fully present, locked in, doing something your child enjoys, that can make a huge difference, especially if you can kind of do that on a regular basis. And that'll help really build a strong relationship and give them a sense of security. And you know, kids who feel connected tend to be more cooperative because they see you as their safe place, not just the rule enforcer. And then lastly, um, last tip, take care of yourself. You know, you're we're all exhausted and you need support too. Parenting is a marathon, it is not a sprint. So anything you can do that's a little bit of self-care, reading, quick workout, whatever it is that you need to do, um, that'll help you be more consistent, help you stay more connected. So again, um, being a single parent, it's an amazing journey and it's ridiculously challenging. But I think with the right approach, with, with connection and routines and structure, that'll help you create a loving and well-behaved environment your kids. So keep up the keep up the good work, you single parents. I believe in you. Um, if you have any specific questions, please just leave a comment below. I hope this helps. Uh, again, I want to remind you that you're not alone. And um, again, if you've got any any other single parents who who are 
having some successes, please feel free to leave a comment here as well. And for anybody who's seeing this for the first time, if you like, if you'd like to hear more parenting ideas and just my whole philosophy on parenting, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.